Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with uh, the Alta haul that I got just a couple of days ago. And I've been playing around with um, a couple of the Wet n Wild holiday palettes. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I did. And to go ahead and start off, um, I did go ahead and use the Super Goop Glow Oil with the SPF of 50 as my uh, primer today and uh, SPF, always a good idea. And then I went ahead and used the House Labs, and this is their Triclone Foundation, and I have it in Fair Cool 50. And um, so that's what I have on for foundation today, and I used the LYS. This is the Triple Fix uh, in LN3 for my concealer. And as far as what else that I did, I can move on to the holiday sets. Uh, this first one is part of the Lip Library from Ulta. And it's actually their lip stain. And that's what I have on right now. And I do like lip stains because they don't end up spreading all over everywhere, making you look like a clown face sort of thing. As you get older, it's just easier to use a lip stain that last most of the day. And you can always put a lip gloss on top of them. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX. Uh, this is Filler Instinct for my lip gloss over here. So again, they last for a long time. You don't have to worry about reapplying all the time. And lip stains, just they don't spread. They don't end up all over everywhere. So um, yeah, that's what I have on today. And uh, the lip library is available as one of the holiday sets over at Alta. You can order it online. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for blush, I started off with the LYS. Uh, this is part of their holiday set, and the higher standards is the LYS uh, cheek blush set. It has three different blushes in it. These aren't full size, but um, I like them a lot. And this one is Self Love Shimmer. And let me see if I can actually, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, it does have a it, it definitely isn't a flat matte. It's more of a satin kind of finish to it. And then I did go ahead and use part of the Wet n Wild holiday set. And they came out with these duos. And there's going to be one blush and one highlighter in these kits that they have coming out. They're not very expensive. They run about $7 a piece, I think. And so this is the bright pink. And I went ahead and put that over the LYS, so I have these two on the cheek right now. And then I did go ahead and use the, um, yeah, the Wet n Wild highlighter. And they do highlighters really well. This one is called Soft Rose Gold. And so, yeah, Wet n Wild does some really amazing formulas. It's just the their packaging um, is drugstore, so sometimes people are really put off by it. But um, any of us who really like Wet n Wild got over the packaging a really long time ago. And this is where I kind of broke the rules. Um, I got all three of the holiday uh, palettes or the holiday the holiday eyeshadow palettes by Wet n Wild, and um, so instead of just using one palette today, I used two. And I used Sugar Plum Whiskers, and then I also used Nutmeg Paws. So I have a combination of these two on. Uh, there are three total, and let me grab the other one. The other one is Jolly Berry Juniper. So these are the three holiday kits that they have this year. And um, I did go ahead and do the haul video where I have this Jolly Berry Juniper on. And then today, I was just going to go ahead and use one of these. But to get the look, I kind of mixed them all together, or two of the palettes together. So Nutmeg 
Paws was the first one that I went into. Get this open here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and started with Nutmeg Paws. And it's this one that's more of an everyday palette than any of the other two. And so what I did was I went ahead and used this green on the outer corner, this green on the inner corner. Um, I did go ahead and put some of this uh, right above, uh, or actually right on the brow bone. And um, so this color on the brow bone. And uh, did I use anything else? No, I think that's all I used from this palette. And again, this one is the Nutmeg Paws. And then what I did use from this palette, and this one is Sugar Plum Whiskers. Um, I went ahead and used a whole bunch of the shimmers out of this one. And uh, there are actually two glitters. This is a glitter, and this one is a glitter. And I did use this glitter uh, right on the brow bone. And then I did go ahead and use this color uh, right in as a topper. So this champagne gold, I went ahead and used right over the greens on the lid. And I did go ahead and use this color as well, which is another really pretty shimmer. And let's see, I did go ahead and put that right on the inner corner, or actually from the inner corner all the way up to the brow. And so that's the way I did the look today. I also went ahead and used the Emrite uh, Green Eyeliner as well. This is how the look came out. So um, these I would highly recommend. And yes, you do need fingernails to actually get them open in a hurry. But um, all three of these palettes are pretty fantastic. And actually, I'm going to do some swatches. So I'll be back in a little while for me, but in just a moment for you. And we'll go ahead and see how they swatch. Hi, so back again, I did some swatches, but I ran out of room. So I took um, one of Tati's uh, deals and went ahead and did it on my chest here. So as far as Nutmeg Paws, or actually, no, sorry. Nutmeg Paws is what I have on my chest. So that's what I have there. And, um, and then as far as what I have on my right arm, that's going to be Jolly Berry J Jumper. So this way that this one looks. I'll go ahead and see if we can... Yeah, so there are the swatches on that one. And then Sugar Plum Whiskers um, is actually the one that has the two... Uh, yeah, the two glitters in it. So that's the way that this one looks. And then, again, what I have on my chest is going to be Nutmeg Paws. So that's this one right here. Again, they're fun palettes. They're about $7 a piece. And um, they also have three of the blush highlighter trios as well. And they have three of the lip, um, lip glosses and lip liners. So there's more to this collection. I didn't purchase it all, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. I wasn't expecting to go this uh, green and berry for this Christmas holiday um, and all the holidays, but that's kind of what happened here. So uh, this is what they look like. Again, Wet n Wild is a really fun formula, and I would definitely recommend it for anybody just getting into makeup or anybody who just wants to have fun for the holidays. And um, I think that's all there is, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye!